Hey everybody, Mike Chipperine of Chippers Island Adventures, and I have just arrived at the Ryman Auditorium in downtown Nashville. So hey everybody, I'm here in front of the Ryman Auditorium just up the street from Broadway, which is the main drag in the middle of Nashville. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about the relationship of the Ryman Auditorium and Tootsie's Orchid Lounge. Tootsie's is right over here, but before I do that, I wanna walk you around the Ryman Auditorium. I'm gonna go over the other side and I'm gonna show you what we have over there. So I'm here on the, what is considered the front of the building today. The other side where I was earlier was the front of the building back in the day. And this here is a statue for Thomas Ryman. And he's the one that I believe built this church and opened it as a church. And what they would do is they started having kind of like Sunday barn dances to help with uh, funding the church and the barn dances became so popular over time it turned into the grand old opry so this is right now the main main entrance here and so this is jimmy dickens a little memorial to him and i was out front and his granddaughter walked by and told me i should come out here and check out his uh statue the, go ahead if you would go on the other side, you could do it with my grandfather, little Jimmy Dickens. Oh, is that your grandfather? Yeah. Oh, wow. So pretty cool, and this is actual height. So we're gonna walk around and go over to Tootsie's. So this is the original home of the Grand Ole Opry, and now they have a beautiful building over on the Cumberland River. Very famous. Song. And uh, that's where I was last oh, night, and I got to see a great show and uh, I like coming here. And if I come here, the first thing I do is I go buy a Grand Ole Opry ticket. I had front row seats or a front row seat. And it worked out really well. So this is the building. Beautiful. You can see how it was a church at one time. Seeing the architecture here. Okay, hopefully you can hear me above the noise here because Broadway is loud. But this is Tootsie's Orchid Lounge. As you can see, it's painted purple. It was bought by Tootsie Bass in 1960s, early 1960s. And some of its earlier customers were people like Willie Nelson, Chris Christopherson, uh, Waylon Jennings, and all these other great old country stars. But what is this significance of Tootsie's? Well, it's directly in back of the Ryman Auditorium. So let's walk around the back side. Okay, so I'm in back of Tootsie's Lounge, which is right here. And I'm, I'm standing in an alley. And if we go over here, here's the back door to the Ryman, right here. So the thing, so the thing with the Ryman Auditorium is it didn't have a backstage where the musicians could hang out. So while waiting for their performance or after their performance, they would come down these stairs and go right into the back door at Tootsie's Lounge right over here and go in and have drinks. What I heard recently is that's what got Hank Williams in trouble with the Grand Ole Opry because he would be bombed in here and he would be late for his gig or he'd show up drunk because he was in here drinking and performing for customers. So that's the connection, but it goes deeper than that. Tootsie was, Tootsie was beloved by all the musicians. And why? Because a lot of these musicians, before they got really noticed, were hurting for money. Willie Nelson, for instance, got his first paycheck, so to speak, after performing here and being seen. But at one point in Willie Nelson's career, he was so distraught that he wasn't going anywhere, he actually walked out of Tootsie's Lounge sometime after midnight 
and laid down in the middle of Broadway hoping someone would run him over and put him out of his financial misery because he was starving. What kept him alive and other musicians was Tootsie Bess. Tootsie Bess would give out IOUs to these musicians who she also loved and they loved her. And she helped feed a lot of stars who would eventually make it. Now let's fast forward to a few years later. Willie Nelson's made it big. Other artists have made it big who frequented Tootsie's establishment. Well, Willie Nelson got word that Tootsie was going bankrupt because a lot of the musician IOUs had not been paid. And she was just gonna go out of business. Well, Willie Nelson got word of that, immediately flew into Nashville, came to this bar and paid off every IOU and bailed out Tootsie. And when she eventually passed, there was a big country western star attendance at that funeral. Tubbs record store and today Kid Rock's bar is here along with others. There's Ernest Tubbs record store right there. The artist's exit out of the Ryman was probably on the other side. So the artist would come down those stairs back here and come through. And there's actually a set of footprints I'm going to show you leading into Tootsie's Lounge. Check this out. So that's just a few tidbits of Tootsie's and the Ryman Auditorium and the relationship thereof. And that's why to this day, Tootsie's is such a hot spot. By the way, if you like this video, feel free to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel. And as I always say, all the best to all and happy adventure.